what's in my kids stockings video and before I begin I did them a little differently this year I usually do things like toothbrushes toothpaste band-aids and all of that but they had a big dentist visit in December so they don't need toothbrushes or toothpaste and all of those traditional things that I get for them I now get in our honest box subscription so I just decided to not waste the money in their stockings but I still do try to get them things that are not junk that are not like gonna break in a day and that just don't add to all of the clutter that I start to feel um, creeping in at Christmas time so that being said these are tailored for my kids and their ages but I did put a stocking stuffer gift guide on my Instagram page so if you don't follow me there the link for that is below and all of those gifts are great gifts for preschool and elementary aged kids and they are all under $10 so make sure you go check that out as well after you watch this video. So I'm going to start with my 8 year old daughter um, and her stocking is different than the boys. The boys are fairly similar. Um, she does have a few things that they have as well. She also has one more item in hers than the boys have and I'm really hoping that they don't notice because uh, it was actually something, we're American Girl Berry members, Berry something like that, Berry Rewards members or something cherry. Um, and they gave me a free outfit for um, when Christmas season started and so I'm like, well, that's great, I'll put it in her stocking. So. Um, she, I picked this little outfit out for her, so that's going to be in her stocking. She also has, all of my kids have a Dover coloring book for our January morning basket. So, uh, just a little educational thing snuck in there. But I got her the Bird Watchers coloring book because she absolutely loves it. got some identifying information inside, so I know that she'll love that. Um, they all also got a set of these Lego pencils and Lego erasers. My kids love school supplies, so I thought that'd be fun to go in there because we just got back from a trip to Legoland, and so um, I know that she'll love this. So this is the Lego Batgirl, I think. I don't know. I, I, I don't know much about this stuff, so that look it's a purple Batman. I'm assuming that it's a Lego Batgirl, so there's that, and then she got the Lego Batgirl pencils as well. These are from the Target dollar spot. They all also got Skittles and Goldfish. So that's the food and treats that are in their stockings. I found this for her at a um, Christmas gala that I went to. There was some a little holiday shop set up and so it's called Snowball, a frosty fresh bath fizzer with a holiday fun surprise inside. And this is created by, it's called Da Bomb Bath Fizzers created by a pair of teenage sisterpreneurs. So I thought that was perfect because her and one of her little girlfriends are always coming up with business ideas and um, trying to come up with creations. So I thought that on top of her loving this bath bomb, she would love the, um, the story behind it. So there's that. This was also free from American Girl. Um, we got like a $10 reward certificate in our email, so I grabbed this for her. Um, this is the Board No More quiz book. So this is so cute. I don't know if you remember um, back in the day getting like Tiger Beat magazine or anything like that. All the quizzes that they would have inside. And, like if you chose more A's, then you're a pretty and pink girl. And if you chose more B's, then you're a baseball girl, whatever. So I thought this would be so cute for her. It's basically what this is. It's like what kind of a crafter are you or what kind of a sibling are you, all that stuff. So. I thought that this was really cute for her. I think she'll love this. This was a super fun find. So I will link all this below. These, This is an LA Colors nail polish remover. They're nail polish remover pads and they are free of um, acetone. That's what it, I kept saying aspartame, but that's not, it's acetone. Um, they are fruit scented, so she loves doing her nails, and every time I walk in her room, I'm like, oh, what is that smell? And it's the nail polish remover. So these are fruit scents, and I used one for myself just to make sure that it wasn't overpowering. It is not, um, like, you don't get that nail polish remover scent masked with a fruit scent. It just smells like fruit. So these came in as a pack of six, and they were pretty inexpensive, definitely less than $10. I don't remember how much they were, but I'll link this below. So I'm going to give her a couple of these in her stocking. 
This I picked up on Black Friday. They're the travel fashion plates, and this was a really great deal on Black Friday. So it's just the classic mix and match fashion drawing set. It comes with all that you need to travel with. You don't have to have like the original set in order to do the travel set. So, And then all of my kids are getting a pair of these hot cocoa pajamas from Gymboree. This was not originally supposed to go in their stocking. These were the, the pajamas that I originally ordered for their Christmas holiday um, decorating boxes back at the beginning of the holiday season, but they came very late. Like they lost my order and it took a long time. So instead of returning them because they weren't overly Christmas themed, I thought they were just fun winter themed pajamas. So all of my kids are getting a pair of these in their stocking as well. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go oldest to youngest. So next I'm gonna do my six year old son. So in his stocking, just like the others, he has the goldfish and the skittles. Um, he has the boys version of those pajamas and he has the Lego Batman pencils and the Lego Batman eraser. So those are all similar. Um, and then he, his Dover coloring book was the Snakes of the World. This one's really cool. He's super into like snakes and reptiles so he's gonna love this. And this again has information about each snake inside. And what I liked about this was that on the inside cover here, it shows you what colors these snakes actually are. So he's not just kind of making a guess on the stripes and all that um, on the different scales on the snake skin. He has the 100 paper planes to fold and fly. This was a part of my Usborne haul. Um, this I know I showed when I showed my what my kids got for Christmas book. I mean, um, video, but I didn't know what was going to be a stocking stuffer and what was going to go under the tree. So he's going to have that in his stocking. I got both of my boys a wallet. So I got him the Avengers wallet. Um, they are doing allowance now and Bella has purses, but the boys have just been bringing their money jars with them everywhere we go. So I thought it'd be really fun to get them wallets. They'll probably lose them, but we'll give it a whirl. And then, last but not least, this is kind of a funny thing. This was supposed to be rolled up and put in his stocking, but John told me I cannot bend it, so this is going to just be wrapped and set under his stocking. I got him a Michael Jordan print picture, and I grew up in Chicago, so I'm very supportive of the fact that he loves Michael Jordan. So I got him this old school Michael Jordan print for his room. I thought it was a poster when I ordered it, that's why I thought it was gonna be rolled, but it came as a print. So John said that he will get it framed and put it in his room. Um, my son loves basketball. He loves Michael Jordan and he loves wearing anything like any of the Jordan brand stuff. So I got him this print for his room. So I thought that that would be awesome. And I definitely remember the Michael Jordan glory days from um, living there. So I'm so excited that he loves Michael Jordan. Okay, and then my four year old son has again the Skittles, the goldfish. Um, he has the same pencils as my, my other son, but he has this like Lego Batman in a swimsuit with an inflatable tube around his waist. I don't know what this is or what that has to do with or if it's from the movie, I have no idea. But all I know is that it was a boy eraser, but it was a different version than the one I got from my son, so there will be no fighting because it's you know, distinctively different. So that's what he got. Um, his coloring book is the baby animals coloring book. He loves babies. If you know Eli, he's obsessed with anything baby. I think he still identifies as being the baby of our family, even though we have a baby in our family. So he's always like, but I'm still the baby boy, right? So he just loves babies. If he, like when we're catching fish, when, the, when John has them fishing, he wants to catch a, a little fish. He doesn't want to catch a big fish. He still wants the small pancakes when I'm making pancakes. So I got him the baby animals coloring book. So it's again got information inside and I think that he will love coloring this with the big kids during our morning basket but also having all of this information read to him. Um, his wallet is, he, he's Batman obsessed um, more than my other kids even though my son loves, my six year old loves superheroes but Eli loves Batman and Superman. So this is the Batman versus Superman wallet. I got him this Peppa Pig family pack. It came in a larger size package than I was expecting, but hopefully I'll be able to shove it in the stocking. If not, some of these things are probably going to be wrapped and set near the stocking. 
but everything was less than ten dollars so again it's something that I don't really put under the tree um, so he has like the Peppa Pig house and he loves Peppa Pig so I got him the family set because he's lost some of the characters throughout the course of the year he has the Us Born My First Maze book as the book in his stocking. It is uh, nice and easy for him. So another workbook that we can add to his preschool basket so he can participate in school with the big kids. And then he also got these pajamas from Jibbery. And then last but not least, sweet Annie girl, my little nine month old baby. Um, she is only getting stocking stuffers, you know, so that the big kids feel like she wasn't left out. I don't really think she's gonna care, but you know how it goes. So I got her these B Fun Keys. Um, they had them at Target, but I got them on Amazon for a better price. They look like my set of keys. She does. She knows those plastic keys that um, that you know they sell like in the baby section that are like pastel colors. She does not like them. She doesn't think she loves my keys. So I got her these because they look just like my keys. I also got her the pajamas. Um, I got her this happy baby, let's see, baby's very first black and white library. This was from Usborn. This is one of the books that I ordered for her. That'll be in there. And then her stocking is just going to be filled with these, um, happy baby brand teething wafers. She loves them. And, um, the kids have like candy and stuff, but what do you do for a baby? So it's always, uh, stockings for babies are always hard. So that's what I got for her. So I hope that that gave you guys some ideas. Like I said, please go check out my Facebook page and that stocking stuffer gift guide that I posted there. Because these are so tailored to my kids, I think that you'll find maybe some more stuff over there that is um, more appropriate for, like if you wanna buy the same stocking stuffers for all of your kids, um, those are some great ideas over there. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. I cannot believe that I've been able to get one up so far every day um, this December. So we're on a roll. I think we're going to make it. See you guys. Bye.